Welcome to our valley at the foot of the Balkan mountains in central Bulgaria. These are the mountains behind our home. And this is the road that leads over the mountains. Though it is January, the road is still open. This is unusual for this time of year due to the fact that we get a lot of snow on the mountains and the roads are very often impassable for quite a few months of the year. We have decided to come and view a property that we have seen that we thought was interesting. It's in a beautiful little village on the opposite side of the mountain from us that is renowned for its spa waters. and it looks like this is the house It's not a large house, just over a hundred square meters. This is the front room. And this is the back room. That's the outdoor staircase, which is usual in Bulgarian houses. And this is one amazing fireplace. back into the front room and this is the outdoor staircase leading to the upstairs bedrooms it's a very small garden but beautiful views of the mountains the garden is extremely overgrown it's a bit like Sleeping Beauty's palace. <laughs> this is the master bedroom. These are actually sacks of sheep's wool, which the estate agent tells us the Bulgarians often use for insulation. Needs a lot of work, doesn't it? This is a small room with a hole in the floor that we think we might be able to turn into a bathroom. The front bedroom seems like a reasonable size. There is a beautiful river running behind the property. For just over £6,000, the house seems like a real bargain, especially in this village. If we decide to purchase it, then we would like to turn it into an Airbnb and a winter getaway for ourselves. Attached to the property is what appears to be a garage, 
but the estate agent explains to us that this is where the cart was kept, the horse and cart belonging to the house. If we decide to purchase this property, then we would turn this into an extra room. And Jeff discovers a basement oh, wow. that was so overgrown Down here. even the estate agent didn't know it was there. <laughs> oh, it's too dark. Have yeah, you got you, a torch? Yeah, yeah, I have, but you must... Yeah. Well. Driving back through the village, it's like a winter wonderland with all the snow. It really is a pretty village with hotels and restaurants because of the spa waters and some very pretty houses. Before we decide to actually purchase the property, even though it's a real bargain, we need to find out about sewerage. This is something that one would rarely consider in England, but is actually vital over here. Many rural villages don't have main sewerage systems. People use septic tanks. But the garden to this property is too small to install a tank. We will now need to do some research to check if the village actually has a main sewerage system we can tap into. Mm -hmm. 